Shalom. Giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechaha, Kodash. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who are learned the truth of the gospel of Yahweh Shai from. And peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. All right, so Brother Tazawam, just uh, coming back, you know, once again, all right, um, you know, this devil just <laughs> keeps. You know, keeps uh, uh, having his tongue fall upon him, all right? And we here, you know, as uh, servants of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, to, uh, you know, warn the sheep to pick it up what this devil is saying, you know, what the Lord got this devil saying, and to, um, you know, spread the gospel, spread the, the news. So this is uh, just recently, all right, within the last, I say, 20 minutes, you have Biden says uh, on, the, um, the, on the CV Vanessa's, it's still a question if the federal government can mandate the whole country. I don't know that yet. All right. So right there does let you know that they are and, and they already know. OK, this is, <laughs> he's been in the, in the game for a long time. You know, if he tells you, if he says it, you know, he, he's, he's spoken about been been in Congress for 150 years. But, you know, this devil <laughs> being uh, just uh you know, docile and not docile, but, uh, you know, um, out of his mind, um, he knows exactly whether or not they have the uh, authority to do so. Cause he has been, like I said, he's been, you know, in Congress and Senate and, and politicians since the seventies. All right. And, um, you know, for a very long time. So he knows what exactly they could do and what they're going to do, but let's listen to what he says here. Yeah, you hear that? So she asked about the mandates for the Vanessa, and he said he he would like to see the, uh, the private sector, schools, private companies, so on and so forth, move in that direction. Okay, because what they what you see happening right now, they're not uh, mandating the uh, the Vanessa, you know, uh, on a um, large scale. They they're having it be done whether in state or you know um, different uh, counties so on and so forth on a local scale but he's telling you that you know what's 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 been what is being pushed is every institution all right that's in the corporate um, that's in the, the corporate states of america right is going to have to mandate that uh vanessa so your jobs whether they be private sector or public se uh, sector all right the uh the public transportation everything is moving towards that all right, and that's what he just said right there. But uh, he, he's going to further expound on um, federally. I had asked the Justice Department to determine whether that is they're able to do that legally, and they can. Local communities can do that. Local businesses can do that. It's still a question whether the federal government can mandate the whole country. I don't know that yet. <laughs> yes. You hear that? I don't know that yet. Now, they're going to come out. Right, at, you know, Esau at, at at the time that the Most High sees fit, because as the Scripture says, he that he that uh, letteth will not let. All right, so the Most High through His Son Yahweh Shai is letting this devil do these things, just like how Yahweh Shai told Pontius Pilate that he has no power except the power that's been given from him uh, from his Father, which is in heaven. You see, but they're going it's going to come uh, at the at the most inopportune time for <laughs> for you know the wicked. That they're going to have that mandate uh, federally because he said, I don't know that yet. And once again, he knows very well uh, if he has that capability of doing so. But the fact that he says that, the fact that it's even mentioned shows the hypocrisy of this devil because and, and you know, through the spirit, I came across this. Where is it at? I came across this back in May. Right. And I took a screenshot of it and I just put it in our group chat just to show the brothers, but this right here is a screenshot of a article that I read um, coming from, uh, I think it was the Washington, uh, no, no. It was one it was one of the viable um, 
mainstream media outlets, okay, um, that, you know, that, that pops up on your um, iPhone news um, app. So I took a screenshot of a specific spot, and I took the screenshot May 11th, uh, 2021. So right here, let me uh, zoom in. It says, Biden and his team has repeatedly dismissed any suggestions of requiring Vanessa or creating a federal registry of people who have gotten their shots. Instead, focusing on increasing information about the Vanessa safety and efficacy and access to shots. All right. It says Biden, Biden's latest target calls for 70 percent of the U.S. adults to receive at least one shot by July 4th compared to the 58 percent who have got who have gotten as one as of now. So back in May, they they have repeatedly dismissed any suggestions of requiring the Vanessa. But here you just heard him say that that he wants the private sectors, the local governments, the, the hospitals, the um, schools to do what to uh, move toward the direction of mandating and now he's looking into having a federal mandate okay uh um to 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 mandate the whole country to get it so this is goes to show you the the lies the 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 double the double tongue that this devil speaks with man all right uh earlier when this whole thing came out it was it was all about you know it's your choice we we um we uh, support, you know, your, your liberty, your freedom of choice, this, this, and that. But now, this devil's coming as a dragon, okay? And then we, we constantly bring it up. He's coming as a dragon and showing you what his real intentions are. Revelation 13, 11, I beheld another beast coming up, coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns, like a lamb, right? You had uh, all, all these, dem you know, uh, Democrats, okay? They were, they were hating Trump, right? Oh, he's such the worst president, blah, 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 right? And all the Republicans was loving him. And then, then you have Biden come in, you know? Biden uh, appealed to the uh, to you Israelites, got you to got you to uh, vote, go vote for him. He was a, he's the, uh, the most voted for president in all of history, man. With uh, 81, I believe it said 81 million votes. He broke he broke he broke Obama's record for most votes in in the U.S. Uh, history. Okay, because I thought you know you had that one Jake said, "Oh Biden, we need you to save us. We 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 need you to save us from Trump." Okay, Biden said, "Oh, if you don't vote for me, you ain't black." You remember all that? They had you out there. They had uh, uh, strippers out there stripping in the commercials, telling you to go uh, vote. So that that uh, two horns like a lamb. Is those political systems that you that you Jakes are just getting played with, man? All lost in the sauce, okay. And that's why the scriptures talks talks about not, you know, putting a king of a uh, of a uh, of another nation over you, man. Okay, our king is Yahweh is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, King David, man. All right, and King David, I should say, Yahweh the the the, the king of everything, and he made his son Yahweh Shai sit upon the throne of the house of David. Okay, and, and and in the kingdom underneath Yahweh Shai is going to be our king, King David. But you got Jake over here in that same mindset that they was when Yahweh Shai was on the scene over two thousand years ago, saying we have no king except Caesar. Well, now look what Caesar doing to your asses, man. All right, so it says he had two horns like horns like a lamb. So that lamb, that fair speech that he was talking about back in May, or we're we're dismissing any suggestions of mandating vanessa to now we want we want all these corporations all the inst institutions to move toward that direction and we're even looking to see if the federal government can 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 do it which once again they already know if they can or not all right and, and if it's something to the point where they feel as though they don't have the um the legislation to do so trust and believe they're going to pass some type of loophole law because that's what this devil do all right uh, pursuant to um, Isaiah the tenth chapter, Isaiah ten and one. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, and write grievousness, which they have prescribed. Okay, so the things that they write, the laws that they write, are grievous. And but the scriptures told you that the that the, the commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh are not grievous. 
So that goes to show you that this devil <laughs> just does everything contrary to to life in 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 the uh you know uh life liberty and the pursuit of happiness as he says. Okay? Because Yahweh Shah said that I come to give you life and give you life more abundantly. This devil's trying to take away your life. So um it's a lot here. Yeah, so going back to you know what 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 I just had, which um bam, what did I just have? So like a uh, brain um brain fart, <laughs> but going back to what this devil says here, actually I get something in the book of uh, Ecclesiasticus, the twelfth chapter, where it tells you never trust thine enemy. All right, you Jakes was, was trusting in Esau. Trusting that he was going to look out for your best benefit, but now, now that it's coming down to the wire, this devil's moving. Oh, that's what I have. Revelation, the twelfth chapter. He said he spake as a uh, thirteenth chapter. He spake as a dragon. And now he's coming with that draconian, the, that draconian uh, measures, man. Okay, coming with those harsh measures on on all who doesn't comply and worship the beast. So it says, uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 12, verse 13 says, Who will party a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beast? And this devil is the serpent. In Revelation, it tells you that that dragon, <clears throat> the beast, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan. So who's going to pity you that that uh, partakes in the ways, you know, and, and goes after this devil in, in, in his ways, man? All right. Drinks of his of his uh, wine, of his fornication. Nobody's going to pity you. It says so one that goeth to a uh, sinner and is defiled with him in his sins in his sins who will pity, and that's why in the book of Revelation it tells you that what come up out of her my people that ye should not be partakers of her plagues, all right. If you laying in bed with this whore, then you gonna come up with with fleas, all right. You gonna come up polluted, and if you're polluted, then you're not that chaste version, that pure version that Yahweh Shai. Said he's coming with his bride, coming for his bride. All right, that's why the scripture says it has not been defiled with women, because you done laid down with this whore and and uh, been seduced by her ways, and now you are defiled, man. All right, now you're not uh, uh, worthy to to stand before the Son of Man. But this devil here, man, he's telling you, he's showing you that he, that's what he's coming with. Now this is a uh, one more uh, quick uh, article that I had uh, just came across as well. Um. Over there in the Philippines, you had uh, the president said this, this came out today, said despite no law sanctioning the un Vanessa, Duterte says will order them confined at home. Says people who remain un Vanessa against the Crown Royale may no longer be allowed to leave their homes after President Duterte Late Wednesday, ordered authorities to confine confine unvanessed people to their homes. If they will leave their homes, I will ask the police to escort them to their homes because they are walking spreaders of Crown Royale, Dorote said during his latest public address. And you know, it ain't, it ain't gonna be just no ask politely to go back home, right? It's gonna be by force. And this is why the scripture told you it's gonna come upon the whole world to try them. Because you got a lot of Israelites that's over there in the Philippines, too, where they call them the little neglitos, okay? During the, uh, the different uh, wars that Jake uh, was involved in, they, they left seed over there in, uh, in the Philippines, okay? Because we've been spread throughout the four corners, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. So they're telling you straight up that, you know, right now there is no, because that's what he said right here. It says, we have to come up with a law punishing a guy. See, that's that that's that uh that stick. A person who has not been Vanessa uh and going around. We don't we do not have a law, Dorote said. But if we will wait for the law, many people will die from Crown Royale. That is a problem. There is no law. So now they're saying that there's no law to actually stop people um from um you know from not getting the the uh the Vanessa. But they're going now to confining people to their homes. So what does that mean? You can't go out. You know, what about if you need food? All right. What about, you know, if you have a medical uh, emergency? 
See, and that's why the, the, the whole notion that's been going around, you know, here in Babylon and, and other parts is what? This is the pandemic of the un, uh, unvanescent, man. This devil's coming down with that great wrath. And then and, and all of these, um, a lot of these, I should say, countries, they're all in cahoots, man. They're all in, in league with this devil. Because these are the elites, the, the wicked rulers of the darkness of this world. All right, they, they have all these countries in their back pocket. All right. Um, yeah, so that's that was it on there, too. Okay, uh, I just want to bring that out as well, man. But hey, man, you know, I seen that with uh, what uh, Sleepy Joe said, you know, the hypocrisy of um, him mentioning that now they're looking into seeing whether or not they can federally mandate it, mandate this uh, Vanessa. So we'll see what happens within the next couple of weeks and months, especially as we enter into the uh, what they call the so-called um, flu season. Expect more and more um, draconian measures, more and more uh, finger pointing at the uh, ones who do not you know uh, has not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. They're going to start, you know, uh, uh, um, bringing more and more, you know, making it harder for us to uh to to maintain this in this in uh society but that's when the lord is going to you know make his move man okay the lord said what behold the days of trouble are at hand but i will deliver you from the same so you know with that call lawyer how about shimmy i was shy about shimmy till next time shalom